What's wrong? You seem confused. I, uh... She said I was supposed to be meeting a princess down here. So, does that mean... A prin... Oh, for the love of... Hey, Emma. I told you not to call me princess in town. Hmm? Oh, right. I forgot. Hold on. Y you're... No way. You're a princess? Uh, what? Like it's that hard to believe? Here. Why don't you let me introduce myself? Sonia Blanche. Crown Princess of Astoria and firstborn to the royal family. Pleased to meet you. M my name is Yuma Ilvern, Your Highness. I it's a profound honor to meet. Hey, nah, -uh. none of that. No highnesses. Just call me Sonia, okay? Y you got it. But uh, what's the Crown Princess kicking around a regular old inn for? Well, excuse us for being regular and old. We're the top inn in the city, thank you. And we've even got Dragoneer staying here. <laughs> Easy now, Primula. But she's right. I live here as the Dragoneer's caretaker. Dragoneers? That's what Excella and Kirika are, right? Are you a Dragoneer too? Uh, no. Not personally. It's more like I'm in training to become one. Something like that, anyway. So, um, Yuma... Weird question, but can we talk about your plans from here on? Your future? Sonia, I think it would be better if the king explained. We should escort his radiance to the castle before anything else. You're right. Can you come with us for a bit, Yuma? I'm a little uneasy about all this royalty stuff, but... It's not like I can refuse the people seeing to my every need. Okay. Wherever you want to go, point the way. <laughs> Welcome, Sir Yu. I am Albert, King of Astoria. Thank you for making the journey to my humble home. Yes, sir. Oh, come, Sir Yuma. No need to be so stiff. Actually, if I may call you simply Yuma? Sure, that... that's fine, um, sir. Very good. Now, Yuma, I'm sure you have some guesses as to why you're here. The, um, the Shining Dragon, right? Then we're all on the same page. That's the short version, yes. However, let me first assure you of your freedom in this hall. Unlike the Empire, I have no intention of holding you against your will. You alone will choose whether to lend us your aid, and you alone will decide what shape that aid takes. That being said, if I may be so presumptuous, I would ask you for a particular kind of aid. The Shining Dragons, if it's yours to give. For nearly a decade now, Astoria has slowly bent and buckled under the Empire's boot heel. We're locked in a bad stalemate, to be frank with you. Marga's fortifications have seen that it remains standing for now. But we cannot place our faith in the walls forever. Then there are refugees fleeing occupied lands, and the poor souls left behind. They are my subjects, and I their king. I am duty-bound to protect them. I understand. I've seen the Empire do some terrible things out there. When I was at Galritz, I saw... cruelty. All kinds of inhumane experiments. Will you help us? With the Shining Dragon's power, Alfheim could be free of Imperial influence. I want to stop them too, I really do. But I can't use the Shining Dragon's power to do it. It... it's too... To what? It's not like he's evil. He helped me and Kirika, remember? No, no, not evil. It's more like... Ugh! Then make a decision, why don't you? What does his power even mean to you, huh? It, uh... W well... Answer me! This is all about you, so why don't you say something? Uh... If you've come this far just to clam up... Ugh! I don't understand you! Sonia, enough. Yuma can hardly make his own decisions when you lay the pressure on so thick. What? No, uh, I didn't mean... Uh, no, I'm sorry, Yuma. None of that was right of me to say. Please excuse my display. You know I don't mean to embarrass you in your own hall, Father. 
And Yuma, can you forgive me? I know you have your reasons, so if you don't want to use your power... No, it's okay. I should be the one apologizing. Hmm. In the end, the fault lies with me, I think. You did, after all, just escape from Imperial Prison. Perhaps I was wrong to push for answers when you've been left with only questions. Shall we take a break for now? A moment to think with clear heads would do us all well. You are dismissed, Yuma. Please, take whatever time you need. See the city, and return with your decision once you've made it. Fair? Yes, if you say so, Your Majesty. Take a look.
going. This one. Okay.
for a song? Welcome back. There's someone here to see you. Uncle Burroughs, this is the boy I was talking about. Ah, about time. You're our dragon boy, then. The king filled me in. Call me Burroughs. How are you holding up? Uh, hi. It's, uh, nice to meet you. Oh, forgive me, Yuma. I should have mentioned. This is Burroughs, captain of the Knights of Astoria and an old family friend. Captain. If you're making a visit to the Seagull, that must mean you've got work for the Dragoneers, right? Right you are, my lady. A hunting contract. Seems something big is out terrorizing folk beyond the walls. What? A monster? More than your knights can handle if you're asking for a Dragoneer to deal with it. Well, the Knights of Astoria... See, we've got our hands full with something else right now. I see. By all means, then, let's petition the Dragoneers! Hey, Sonia. There are other Dragoneers besides Kirika staying here, right? Three of them, all told, yeah. Kirika and two others all use the Seagull Inn as their base of operations. And when the throne doesn't have official contracts to offer, they go around assisting the people of Marga instead. There's not a soul in Marga who can't tell you a story about a stout-hearted Dragoneer. You can always rely on them. Astoria owes generations of peace and comfort to their protection. By playing their harmonics, they can channel special magic and perform feats far beyond other people. All to keep the peace, of course. Harmonics? Is that what you call those instrument weapon things Kirika and Excella were using? Mm-hmm. Long ago, the shining dragon inside you gifted them to the ancients so they could protect themselves. There are supposedly seven harmonic armaments in all. Three of which are here in Astoria. The Elves of Wellant have another three. And the last one's in the care of that Imperial Princess. Wellant? Oh, but isn't that Kirika's homeland? What's she doing fighting for Astoria and... Well, Astoria and Wellantine relations are peaceful. The Elves' ancestors lived here a long time ago, so we've been allies for generations. <laughs> At any rate, I should go and see about this something big. You stay here where it's safe, Yuma. You're going all by yourself? I can't just demand a Dragoneer's time without doing any scouting first now, can I? It's my duty to aid them in my father's place, you know. Be that as it may, my lady. Maybe take Yuma with you all the same, just to be safe? What? Me? <laughs> don't worry, Captain Burroughs. It's just a scouting op. You don't have to be so protective. Uh... Emma, could you make Yuma some tea? I'll be back before it's cold. Ah, my lady, wait! And she's gone. Emma, why didn't you stop her? Now I have to figure my plans out all over again. Plans? What in the world are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Yeah, I didn't say a thing. <clears throat> now, how to fix this? Hey, Yuma! Little coward! Are you letting the princess totter off into danger all on her own? Huh? But she said she was just scouting, so... No excuses! Get after her right now, boy! Hop to! Wait, why? Why do I have to do this? I'd do as he says, Your Radiance. Sir Burroughs is a very stubborn man. Arguing will only make him grumpier. Fine, fine, I'll go. I'm going. Allow me to accompany you, Your Radiance. If we hurry, we should be able to catch up before Sonia reaches the gates.